back, we are back, we are back. Um, all right, so I am now in my new house with my internet hooked up again. So now I don't have anything stopping me from doing my little streams here. So what I'm gonna try to do now is like do it you know, during the week as much as possible, uh, just so I can go through my day-to-day -day stuff a little bit more, because it's, it's, it's a little rough to have to try to explain to someone what I do every day with this game. So a lot of it's just autoing on in campaign, to be honest. So we are on day one a 108. That's what we are at, 108. Let's look. Daily login rewards. We just did 108 right here. So we got two more weeks until we get our next epic that we're going to be trying to build. Uh, I will be building her out on the next clan versus clan once I get her. Uh, I'll be skilling, getting all her skills maxed. Hopefully there will be a clan quest where I can max out a, the skills of a hero also, so that'll save me some time, which will be very nice, because I have enough. I, all right, so what do we want to do? We really want, like, for at least for epics, the only two I really care about are Dark Alhane and Grush. So those are probably going to be the only two at this point that I'm really looking to max skills and max them out, because um, he's just really good. I'm probably going to end up pulling him into my... Uh, clan boss team, just because he has the leech, he has the decreased attack, um, and he has you know some healing and stuff that's going on. So th that's good. Um, but that, yeah, that's like down the road. So we got a while for that. So what? I mean, look at this. This is day 240. So we're not even halfway there. So those are the only two from the logins that I care about. Um, still. I, I'm not going to say I don't care, because she's really good, but once again, it's also kind of far away. So she will be a secondary to me um, before I get, uh, what the hell is that lady's name? The one that I'm really trying to go for here uh, in missions. I forgot her name. It's, how, it's, it's been a little bit. There you go, Arbiter. I want her first. She's my first. She does everything I need to replace uh, Spirit Host. And she will replace, uh, what's his name, Apothecary, basically. So she's like kind of, she's kind of a two and one. So in my clan boss team, I can add her and remove both of them, and boom, now I have another space for another damage dealer, which is what I want. So that's why we're pushing so hard to get Arbiter. But Arbiter also is a little bit down the road too. So we're 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 getting closer. Um, at this point, it's really only the freaking arena that is holding us back. See, we're upgraded Great Hall to level eight. We're still there. Uh, I'm, I only need like 50 medals, I think. I should have it in the next day or two. So it's not that I'm not there. So then I'm gonna get all this. This is easy. This is all easy cake stuff. I'm not worried about stage 15. All that stuff I should be able to beat. And then boom, once again, we're gonna get stuck again for another week or so, just doing this stupid ass arena stuff. So literally the arena is the only thing. Like once I finish Arbiter, to be honest, I could care less about arena anymore. Like that's, I am done with arena. It is literally the most annoying thing in this game. It's the same five heroes you're fighting every time. And it's always some dumb, you know, shtick to make it so that you can't kill them. So yeah, I don't care about the arena. I literally could care less about the great hall. I'll fight in whatever. I'll, I'll take my team out for my defense. Once I get these Arbiter missions done, I'll take them out of defense and I will just leave it. And cause I'm not really trying to go for Rama two right now. Like, I'll do some of the quests as we get through it, but honestly, it's not important to me. The, the quests that are coming up that you have to do from here to here, these, like, 120 quests, are by far going to be way out of my league right now. So until I start building some teams and really, like, going for six-star gear 100% on all my heroes and start pushing, like, 50 to 60,000 power heroes on, like, all my heroes, I, th there's no point for me even really trying most of this. I'll do the ones that come up that are easy, and if it's if I get stuck on one that's like you know be level 25 in the Fire Knights Castle, like yeah, I'll just wait. It's not super important to me. I really just want to build and keep getting resources as I go. So we just want to get that, and then hopefully we can bang out these stupid arena missions and move forward. Now we do have the fusion going right now. I I put it up on the last video. This is where we're at right now. Fusion. Where are we going? Fusion. So I already have one Orn. So now I just need um, one more of Pathfinder Cat, I guess. Um, I just need one of her so that I have her. Uh, any extras I pick up along the way, I will not be using for skills, 
since this is a new faction, uh, I will be putting it into, if it's there, I don't even know, I, I assume it's there, the Guardian ring. Is it? Yes, it is here. So I will be putting her in here, any any extra copies I get. So, because there's no point right now. I'm not going to, there's no faction war, I don't need her, and I also don't need the skills. So we're just going to throw her in to the Guardians, and hopefully I can get maybe a couple here, maybe get this 10% attack. I think that's about as far as it would go, if I'm lucky. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So, what did I do? to get to where I am. Uh, see, yeah, I'll show you in here. Boom, bolt. There you go. Bolt, reserve. So here he is, Orn. We have him. So now we have two epics that I'm never going to use. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, all right, so for the fusion, I'll just throw in real quick where what I did to get to where I am. So I'm only doing things that will get me further in what I'm trying to do outside of these events. So. In the events, we have the Artifact Enhancement event, which just came up. And I got one from here. That was the last one I got to get, the, to get Orn. And what I did was, is there's two, there was two of these. So the first one, I didn't do. I just saved up a ton of silver running campaign for um, champion training. I got both of these from champion training. That's how much champion training I did. I also did get a 650... Um, energy from my login reward so that was nice that helped a lot uh, we did get some from I think we got energy from was it from the clan stuff we got energy from the reset for the week so there was a lot of stuff that kind of happened that kind of pushed me to be able to get this done so essentially what I did was I leveled up a bunch of heroes gear the ones that I'm building right now to six star I leveled them all up to 15 whatever gear I have even the gear that I can't put on them yet so uh, all the banners for the four heroes that I'm, I'm getting to 60 now that I can't ascend until the quests, I got their banners to level 16 also. So basically, I think I have maybe two pieces of gear. We'll look at it in a second. But I did all that. So I literally just farmed 12-3 nonstop. Just 12-3, 12-3, 12-3. I must have spent, I don't know, like thousands of, of energy, thousands. Um, I did purchase energy with my gems. I probably spent anywhere from two to three hundred gems over the course of this event so far, just because there was so much good stuff in here. Like, I got coins, I got energy brews, and then this to get the hero some extra gems. There was a lot of stuff that I got, so I was able to pull two, um, two of these stones for the uh, awakenings. I was able to pull a couple, so that was good. Um, there was definitely a lot of stuff in there that I, I wanted as far as rewards. Uh, tournaments I mostly stayed away from. I think I got, yeah, the Ice Golem Tournament, I haven't touched. I have zero points in this probably, right? Even though I would like this energy, I don't want to spend the en I'm going to spend this this much energy to get this much energy. So I don't know if I really want to you know, waste my time with it, to be honest. Um, and that's, what is it? You get like 18 points for a run, you know, something like that. 17 to 30 points a run. So to be honest, you'll probably actually spend more energy than you'll get. Um, it's over in 14 hours anyway at this point. I don't really care about it. So we, we skip that. I don't care about it. Honestly, I'm not, probably not going to do any of these. There's like four coming up. You have to use a specific faction for each one, and it's dumb. Especially to come, like, why would you put this tournament up in the middle of the champion fusion event? Like, it's, it's literally them just trying to get people to spend money is what it is. That's all it is. It's a distraction. And it's a waste of time. So I wouldn't touch any of these special faction ones. Just just zero. Literally do zero. Like, just look at this. you got five people that are doing it probably. What, 800 points? Yeah, so this one's, they're probably just going to go for this free stuff here, which I don't even care about. Like, none of this matters to me. This, I don't care about so much. It'd be nice, but I, I don't need it. It's not important. I have a, a couple sets of that. Um, we do have the Dragon Tournament coming and another Champion Training Tournament. More than likely, I'm probably just going to do champion training a little bit just to get whatever rewards, but I'm not doing it because of the, the event. I'm doing it because it coincides with what I'm already doing. So that's what we've been doing. Um, and then I had, I think, 6 million silver after the first three or four days or whatever of farming nonstop and selling all the gear that I pulled. Uh, and yeah, then I just had a bunch of gear that was 16. So here we go. So he's 16 now, Max. I think he was 16 before. I think I did him before the event because I didn't know. But now I have his Lizard Man banner right here. It's 16. So that's Max. So as soon as I ascend him, he gets his 16 gear. 
Um, Coffin Smasher, I just have one piece left that I got to do. I don't care if it's during the event now because I got I got the event done anyway. So, um, so all his gear is now 16. This is 16, and his banner. I have two banners here, one for him and one for Crimson. I do have an attack for Crimson, and I have a defense for him. Probably neither one of those banners is what I will be keeping later on. They're just the ones that I happen to have right now. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's level 60 now. So he's good. He's max and ready to rumble. So I just got to finish this, and he's done. And then I've got... What the hell is going on here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, she is all 16 as well. And like I said, I have the banner already set. So literally between those two, I only have one left. So those two are 60 now. The, um, the last one that I'm getting to 60 is Odachi. I didn't do, I did, I think I did his, did I do it? No, I did this. I was going to get it to 12, I forgot. Let me just upgrade it once, just to see what happens. There we go, we get more defense. That's exactly what I needed for it. Um, so I have a banner for him. It's going to be accuracy because I want him to land his hits. So I will be leveling that to 16 eventually, but otherwise, I'm looking for gear. I'm looking for crit rate gloves and speed boots. I don't have them right now, so I'm probably not going to go above 12 on these. It's important to not waste silver on gear that you don't need. So as I find some other pieces for this, I will do it. But otherwise, I have the banner, and he's basically ready to rumble. Uh, I just got to do his skills next, and we're good. Um, Crimson is almost there for skills. I need two and two. So four more books out of, what is this, 15? Not 15, there's three out. Well, 15 and 7 is 22 minus 3. So there's 19 books. It's a lot of books. Um, I bought the books from the clan shop because they popped up. It sucks because the books and the, the energy popped up. Usually I let, I let Polarium make the decision for me as to what they put in the shop as to what I buy. But this time it was honestly between books and energy. Energy is the lifeblood, but skill books are so rare at this point. It's like, I mean, you get enough. I mean, obviously, I'm building these champions pretty fast, but you get enough. But, like, you know, a little five-book bonus every time that you guys do, that you do quests every week, is it's worth it. It's way more worth it, the five books, than the 500 energy, unless you're trying to do a tournament. So, like, if there was something that I really needed to beat or a quest that was really timed, yeah, I would get the energy. But I don't need it right now. I just want the skill books. I want all these, these bad boys maxed. So, because he's already skill maxed, he's done. She's almost done. And then Odachi needs not too much. Here, two, five, six, seven, and four. So he needs 11 books. So realistically, I could be, I could be probably get him, you know, skilled out pretty quickly. I'm not worried about him. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to do him first or not. Because I have a while until I have to do these level up quests. And I've been doing them in order. So basically, um... I think it's Spirit first, Magic second, then Force, and then Void, I think. So realistically, I can finish those two quests first and then keep moving on. So I'll still have time to do the level, the six star. But by the time I get past that, the, the upgrade at level nine Great Hall, it's, I'll have them all done. So it doesn't matter. So what I am doing is I had a great pull and... I'm very excited about this. Brave Chill Killer is now on the roster. So we are going to be putting her into our clan boss. I'm very excited about this. Uh, she's going to be my replacement for War Maiden in clan boss. Yay! Um, she's awesome and pairs really well with our good friend, Rose and Banshee. They are the sisters from uh, what is that? What's that show? Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, they're the ice, the ice monsters. So, why do we want her in our clan boss right here? Poisons, boom. Attacks one enemy and places decreased defense. And then here's the big thing: if she has, um, if they're under the t uh, the poison debuff, they get a 60% chance. And then here is if they're under poison sensitivity, she places stronger poison when she attacks. So what do we put her in? What do you think? Poison. So she's going to be in poison gear. She's literally everything she does will be poison. She will hit. Every time she hits, she's going to poison. So we want to get some decent accuracy on her. So I would like to get an accuracy banner for her. I don't think I have one. I have resistance and defense. So that sucks. 
Um, I'll probably put defense on her for now, because she's. That's the whole point. Is that she's. These these are uh, clan boss heroes. We don't care about attack so much. We, we're trying to build a poison team that just constantly ticks poison nonstop to get that damage rolling every single every single turn. All right. And already we're getting. I've had hits where, you know, he'll get hit for like between 500,000 and a million and just poisons because everybody got so many poisons off that one round. So now we add her into the mix because um, War Maiden only has one poison. So we are going to max her probably first. I feel like that's going to happen. I'm going to end up building her skills first and then I'm going to end up six-starring her and maxing her and then getting all of her masteries and then I'm going to come back and do all the masteries for these four after she's six star and we already have just so you know how i mean we're going moving fast like i already got these are the three that i was trying to level a while ago to 60 i already got them and now these two are already 50 so i can get them to 60 pretty fast considering i already have once again remember i, I said i spent all of my time in 12 3 brutal all of it literally this whole event i did nothing else but that um i think i did potion keep for I don't know. I think I did like six runs to be able to have the potions I need to do the fusion. Um, but yeah, already. These are all ready to go. So I have my five level 40s maxed. So now all I need again, once again, is all the 40s. All my level four, my, le my four star heroes to build these up to five. And I immediately have another six star. So it's getting easy. It's getting a lot easier. We have, there's way more ways to get energy. You know, it's, it just gets easier as you go. So, and you're getting more experience for a run, so it doesn't take as long. You know, you're just kind of getting the rhythm of it. So it's nice. Um, so we will be building her as a six star. She will be my 12th now, right? This is six. Yeah, she will be lucky number 12 to six star. So we're, we're, we're going to have a nice roster for like within the next month or so. So, um, you know, so we're going to have good heroes for most of the content at this point. Because a lot of these guys are somewhat mixable. I mean, even in Dragon, technically, I could work out a team with Grave Kill. Uh, Grave Chill and Frozen Banshee, where the, they just poison kill the dragon and within two seconds with Kale. So, you know, there's things that we can do. We just need protectors. Like, that's really what we need. I need solid healers and protectors. And I do have a few in my, my roster. I just got to build them. They've just been the last on my list because I have Valerie and Apothecary. So, they're the best in slot right now, basically. Um, but this is how I do it. This is how I build everybody. Like, you make sure they have their crit. I got these from the, this is the login reward. So I got, what is it, four pieces of this. Uh, I did get, and lucky enough, it was speed and crit. Crit gloves and speed boots. I was like, I don't know if that's just, if it was random or if it was that that specific set comes out right, but I was super excited that I got speed and crit on both of these. So yeah, awesome, perfect. Uh, we have attack on the chest. That's not optimal. I would rather have defense. I just don't have one right now. I think I had an HP one, but I, it wasn't that great, so I didn't feel like using it. So I'll just take the extra attack for now. It, it is what it is. Um, crit rate is decent, but that's also because I didn't level this up yet. This maxes at 50, I think, right? Upgrade 50? Yeah, 50 crit. So once we get that maxed out and a couple of the other pieces, I'll have more than probably enough crit rate. Um, crit damage is actually almost 100%, which ain't terrible. So. Yeah, that's where we're at. We do have a nice piece here for attack. Um, I would like crit damage, but once again, it's what I have. Um, it is one of the counter-attack pieces, which is really good. And I got these from the clan shop last last time uh, we had the clan reset because I had a bunch of stuff and there was nothing in the shop that I could buy. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to buy a bunch of cool accessories and see if I get anything good. And I got literally every single one I pulled was good. I was like, this is amazing. So now I just need rings because I'm running out of space because I have so many freaking heroes. Um, so yeah, that's this is literally what I've been doing is just 12-3 brutal. I, I can't even, I, can't, I wish there was another way. Yeah, and almost every hero's crit, speed, and either attack or defense here, and then you know crit damage here. It's almost always the same crap for every character except for certain heroes. So I'm very excited to get them maxed out. Uh, I will be running masteries for a long time because everybody above... Apothecary is done. So we're going to have to run Masteries for one. Where are we at? I don't even know where we're at. Like, probably nothing. So we have to run Masteries for one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to have to run. I'm probably going to spend two weeks 
literally just running for mastery. Because I think, all right, so I think what most people have trouble with in this game is si getting sidetracked. I think that's why even people that I play with in my my guild and all that, they're they're gonna be, they they have trouble with things using really good heroes. Like they can't beat certain things that I have already beaten, and I'm doing it with just these rare guys. So it's like yeah, I have like two epics, but they're not like they're not like magical. They're not magical epics. They're not even like the best ones in the game. I mean, Jizo is basically you know a throwaway for most people. I mean, a lot, I know a lot of people that'll feed this guy to, to some of their heroes just to get a, a five or six star. So yeah, he's he's a throwaway, and I think he's amazing. I I, I love him. Um, Broadmaw, same thing. Like, I wouldn't say they would feed him. He's good. Like, you can use him in some content, but it's not like, you know, he's not like the most amazing healer in the game. I would say people would say High Katoon is better than him, but this guy resurrects with lock damage. You know, he's good. He's, he just doesn't. If he if this guy had a heal, he would be unstoppable. To be honest, I think that's really what holds him back, and from me really using him a lot is that he he doesn't have a heal. If this guy revived people and then had some sort of even like a even like a regen something to keep HP up, this guy would be in almost all my teams. I would replace Apothecary in a second. But alas, this fat boy does not have any of that, so we don't use him that much. He's really just in my. Uh, I use him in my tag team arena. That's it. But yeah, so we're we're gonna be doing masteries. But it's like w w the reason that I'm as successful as this as I am is because I literally went. Once you get all your heroes to 50, it's one at a time, like one at a time. Yes, I understand that if you've been watching this, that I have a ton of heroes here at level 40. When you're at the point that I'm at, getting a hero to level 40 is a joke. It's literally a joke. Like, I can level three of these guys to 40 per day, all right? So if I have nothing else going on and I just want to collect um, shards and money to build up for something, then you just throw three of these guys in, level them up to 40, and then when you're done, you've got some extra silver and you've got um, you know, a bunch of gear you can sell for more silver, and you've got your 40. Done. And you'll probably have a ton of shards. So that's what I do when I'm running low on shards. I mean, I, actually, I had 130 shards before I sh did this video um, as of yesterday, but I pulled a bunch of them because I started doing more runs. Um, but your focus should be leveling all of these, any, on any of your best heroes. You're not going to have all the heroes that I have. But the main ones that I have that I've been using since like almost this, the first month, in the first month, yeah, as soon as you get them, you know they're good. You know they'll do the job that you need to do up until where I'm at because that's what I've been doing. So it doesn't matter. If, if you're trying to rush through, it's going to hurt you because you're, if you have all these heroes right here, say you have all these heroes. I mean, look at what I've got here just to kind of give you an example. So we've got one, two, we've got 11 heroes to 60 right now, all right? So if you take 11 heroes to 60, you need what? Five, five stars, right? For each one. That is 55 five-star heroes that you can use, all right? Now, if you didn't do what I did and put them into your level 60, 55 five-star champions, all right? Do you know how many four-stars that is? It's like, it's like four times what? So it's, sorry, 55 times four. So that's 220 four-star champions. All right, you could conceivably have, you know, what did I say, 200 and 220. So divide that, you know. So you could have probably about 55 champions, right, to level 50. You could have all, almost all of these champions to 50 right now if you were doing the game the way, exactly the way I did it but didn't level those heroes to 60. The only difference is, is your, your heroes would all suck. That's really the difference. You'd have a bunch of level 50s that don't do crap is essentially what you'd have, all right? When I pull like these few heroes here, these 50s, when I pull them into content that I'm doing currently, they, they'll die in the first round unless they're protected by Valerie or someone else. They literally die in the first round, even at level 50. All right, and they're not even using crap gear. Like most of them are using decent gear. No masteries, but like they're using, like see, I have all 12 here. 
he's got some twelve. He's all. I think they were all twelve at this point. Twelve. She's got sixteens. Like, there's not like terrible gear. She's got a sixteen here. She's got decent gear. All right. These guys are all pretty good. But in the content that I'm currently doing, they'll get destroyed. Like the difference between level fifty and sixty is astronomical, especially since you get the banner at the end. All right. So that's why we build the way we build. You build one hero at a time. That's if there's one thing you could take away from this series, even if you're not doing this and being stupid <laughs> and basically, you know, trying to beat content with all these random rares. Um, the one thing you could take away is max heroes. That's all that matters. Maxing heroes. Kale will be first. And when I say max, I mean max. I mean crit on the or crit damage for him because now I have enough crit rate everywhere else. Well, almost enough. I'm, I got to find something that has crit rate, but whatever. You know what I mean. Hopefully, I can find some, you know, boots with, with crit rate. But speed, crit, either attack or defense, depending on the hero, and then everything else up here is just whatever stats you can get um, to match your hero. Okay, maxed, and I mean like four star in the beginning gear, and then five and six star as you find it. See, he's got he's got six star. I switched this out to get speed, so he now has six star gear speed on his shield and his weapon all right six star five here six star here so he's already got what one two three six stars he's got two five stars three five stars yeah so it's all five the only fours he has now are the ring and the boots and that's just because i haven't i don't farm gear so that's really it and that's literally just from doing the quests so it's not like this stuff, I mean, you could be unlucky. I'm not going to lie, it could happen. But yeah, just from doing quests and logging in every day. I mean, you get tons of cool gear from doing logins. Uh, I mean, look, I just got that gear for Grave Chill, just, from, just for logging in. Literally, that's all I did was log in, and I got this. You know, these five-star crit and speed boots. So you definitely want to max your heroes as much as possible. Get them to six-star with all of their skills completely maxed, one at a time. Just throw every book into one hero. Don't try to do all that crap where you get like, oh, I'm going to have one, you know, I'm going to throw one in here just to get this skill up. And then I'm going to throw one, like, that's what people do when you have limited resources and you're trying to build a thousand heroes to get to the end game. That's what people do then. Yeah. If you're going to build legendary heroes and you're doing stuff like that, like with, you know, with outside of what I'm doing, yeah, you might want to be a little more conservative with those books. All right. These guys, no, you max them. Literally every skill needs to be maxed because it, that's what's going to help you get through. I mean, if say her bread and butter is the, is the poison sensitivity, right? So let's say you max this out to seven. This skill, so you know, you get an extra cooldown. It'll help. This poison sensitivity. You want these cooldowns? Get them. It's like every hero is better for booking them out. There's unless you're doing like you know world record runs where if you build a hero with like an extra like where this turn meter skill messes you up and you don't build it or turn it off, like, unless you're doing that kind of stuff, max every hero to max. Max, max, max. All their matches. Get all their matches. It sucks. You're going to farm that stupid-ass Minotaur for days. Literally days, all right? My average farm is about three to five days, and that's because usually the first, these, this first section here, you'll probably get done in two minutes if you're at my, if you're where I am. If you're below me and like kind of like a little bit lower level farming, then it's going to take a lot longer. But I, in one day, I'll have this whole section built. And then once you start getting into the 120 and 200 books, I mean, uh, scrolls to get these, that's when it gets slow. You may log in and, you know, say you're, you're a reset day. You'll log in. It may take all of your energy for that day just to get, you know, one of these done. It's possible. It happens. So figure just for this section is a day, maybe two, okay? We'll just call it a day. These here are 200 each. I think these are, what is it, 120? So basically, this one's 350. So day, 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 day. We'll just, we're just averaging because you you're going to get energy from other sources other than just the logins. So And then this is a day, we'll just say. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to take, and that's if you're literally just only pushing everything into that. If you're not trying to do something else or run something or you're like, oh, there's this, you know, the potion keep just opened up that I need, you know, for this other hero that I'm building. Because um, that, that, takes that takes priority over masteries, unfortunately, is the potion keeps. Because potion keeps are limited time. 
they're only open certain days. So if you have a hero that you need to get to six star um, ascension, yeah, you're going to do that first. And then the next day when the potion keep closes, you go back to farming mastery. So it's, there's a lot of things that I do in this game that you're not going to, that I can't explain 100%. Like I, unless I w had no job and literally just sat here all day and played the game with you guys watching, like there's a lot of things like that that just you're just not going to know until you you know until you f it up or until you just play for a long time. So you might play for you know a year and still not be anywhere near what I'm doing right now, or not have a, have even close to a grasp of the game as far as what we're doing in this series, which is why I'm kind of doing it because I want people to really see that you know. And I'm not even considered I wouldn't even be considered like one of the better players in this game. Like there's plenty of you know content creators out there that make videos that they know way more about this game than I do. I, I'm really good at like just being very minimal, enjoying the game and how I build my heroes. I really enjoy building a hero. Like that's what I like doing. So that's why I like this game. Um, and I don't need to spend to do it. These rare heroes are all really good. Some of them are really cool. Like Frozen Banshee is badass. Like I would take her over any legendary right now. Literally any 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 legendary. If I had to choose between her or a, le or a legendary hero right now. I would choose her. That's how much I like her and how much she helps me in my my game. So while you're building, just make sure that everything you do makes sense. It's really what it comes down to. Oh, look, we got more stuff. I won't be getting that. Um, make sure that you're buying stuff from the shops, you know? Make sure you're buying anything that you can. If you have extra silver, like I don't right now because I just blew it all for that event, but um, and to get all my heroes to 16. See, that's the thing, too, is like I... You know, I did everything at once. I used—I didn't just blow silver to, to win the event. I blew silver because I needed my gear to 16, and there was an event. See what I mean? There's, you, there's always two things that you should be doing. You shouldn't be wasting silver just to waste silver, okay? Um, unless it's something really important, because I have said that before. I will, I will definitely go and say that, like, 100%, I will max skills at any time. <laughs> I don't give a crap what tournament's going. I'm like, I want my skills books in as soon as I get them. I'm not waiting for clan versus clan, um, except for epics, because that just gives you too many points. Um, so yeah, buying stuff from there, fun. Uh, constantly doing your altar of souls and checking and making sure you're doing the awakening dungeon every day on level one. We're not trying to blow through energy. Um, make sure you get your gem, your gem thing unlocked. So that's fun. That's important. And unfortunately, do it in arena every single day. I do so much goddamn arena. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm actually probably going to do some in a little bit. Uh, I might do it off stream. I don't feel like doing it now. Um, clan boss is where we're at. So really, we want to get... So I have two keys right now. Do I want to do this right now? Uh, I don't know if I really want to do it yet. You know, I'll, We'll do the one key. We'll do the one brutal key. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because... So really, we want to get... Um, I just I just want the timer going at all times. I don't know if it resets or not. Uh, while it's, I don't know what, if it's on a clock or if it goes by a specific clock, like every like this time during the day. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I don't pay attention, so I always have to make sure I don't have max anything. Um, so once we get uh, grave grave chilling here, it's gonna be sick. Like I'm actually super excited. To be honest, we're almost getting to the point where it's conceivable that I could pull Kale eventually. I gotta start looking at damage at the end of the fights, which we'll look at. You know, I'll look at it this time just to see. We wanna look at our stats and see who's doing the most damage. Because remember, Kale doesn't have his, he doesn't have that mastery. He just has a, a crap ton of um, poison in his kit and he has the life steal. So once we get like maybe a leech hero in here where everybody benefits from it, you know, someone like that could conceivably replace Kale. Someone who heals or puts, you know, whatever, revive on death or, you know, just random things that'll really help keep the team alive. A really good shielder. Things like that. You know, yeah, those could conceivably replace Kale. It is possible. Look at that. Four poisons just from an extra turn. That's why I love Frozen Banshee. And as you can see, like, War Maiden is better for waves and content. She is not good for clan boss. She's only good now because it's all I have to remove defense, I mean to lower defense. But she is not 
really anywhere near being one of the best heroes for um, clan boss. I mean, who did I take out of here? I took out um, Spirit Host. So yeah, I took Spirit Host out, who really boosts attack. And even with her boosting my attack by 50% and dropping down to 25% attack increase with using Valerie, we're doing more damage because of Frozen Banshee. So that's what I want to do now with Grave Kill. So we'll pull her, pull her in. And then I'm thinking, basically we want, after that, like, I would say Arbiter would be next, but I don't, I don't really know who else I could bring in outside of Grappler. That would really help my game right now, because realistically, Arbiter would fix most of the stuff that I removed from my team at this point. You know, speed boosting, attack increasing, things like that. She has heal, she has all those things. So she's definitely the one I want, but that's, it's like so far ahead that I have to kind of consider that I need to still do 100 million damage, I think it was, on Nightmare or some, some crap like that to get Arbiter. So we need to build some heroes. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Grappler and this is a really terrible run. Wow, we're getting hit, messed up bad. Um, I think this is a one hit. Yeah, oh no, this is the whole team, yeah. This was a trash run. I do about, on my good runs, I do 12 to 13 million. That was, that was garbage. Garbage run. But hey, it's still better than I was doing before I put her in Frozen Banshee. Um, yeah, so basically, see? So we've got this team with some good heroes. So what do we got going on here? Yeah, two keys. So yeah, one key for 10 million ain't bad. Um, I'll take it. But on hard, I actually did really well. That was a good run. I almost got close to 16 million. I've hit 16 before. So it really just depends on the luck and who gets hit. Uh, average here, like I said, between 12 and 13-ish usually. I think I did 15 once, 15 million once with the team I have. Uh, sorry, here, I'm, I'm like, why am I here? Everybody's got this new face guy though. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, that's that. Um, we really haven't been doing much Hydra because I usually only do it when there's a quest. So I gotta figure Hydra out eventually. We're, we're not really working on there. The new Doom Tower did open up. Uh, I have one key left. I have done, let's see. I have done four of the secret rooms that I was able to beat. I do not have enough heroes for the other two that I got to so far. One of them is rare voids only. And unfortunately, I only have these three voids that are rare because I don't pull void shards. So it's been a little rough for me. Uh, I would have to build these all to 60 and I could beat it more than likely if I just build them to 60. And maybe maybe employed some trickery like shields and stuff like that, like shield gear to keep them alive during the wave and stuff. It, it's possible, but honestly, it's not worth me building just these three heroes because they're kind of trash anywhere else right now. Uh, he's not terrible, but yeah, they're not even close to being good heroes. So I don't know if I would really want to waste my time with that right now. So more than likely, this room will stay not beaten for a while. Um, and then the other one was defense heroes only which I have a decent amount of heroes, but I went in there and when they say defense, they meant defense. Like these suckers take, they soak so much damage. Like I think I was fighting them for about 10 minutes with like my, like my main, my main pot, my four here. And then I think I threw, uh, what is that, that other guy in here? Who did I throw in here? I don't remember who the other guy was, maybe him. I just threw somebody in here. Um, but yeah, not, this did not, go well. <laughs> it did not go well at all. This guy, he's the one I threw in. This guy. Um, they died pretty quick. So yeah, that secret room is not getting done. However, the good news is we did get to this, which I was happy about. Um, super rate off. I have one key left, so we'll use it now. So I was very happy that this guy popped up in my, my rotation because now I will be farming this every day with my keys. Yay! Because I was only I, I only had him at I think the four star version where I could only get four star gear from him, but now I can get the attack and crit gear from him at five star. So that's good. That's gonna be that means I can finally clear out the gear that I have that's all four star. Once I start, I'll, I can farm this for maybe a week, and by that point I, I should have enough five star gear where I can just literally sell all my four star gear that came from this guy because it's all it's a waste. It literally does nothing for me right now. But the five star upgrade is very good for this because this is what I use on all my attack heroes that are my secondaries. 
and uh, maybe one or two of my mains, but I, th I think most of the, th the gear that came from here is just secondary gear that I use. This is why I don't farm gear, by the way. Like, I don't need to farm gear. The only thing you need to farm are very specific sets, like speed, vampire, and even vampire, I probably won't need to farm soon because I can get the one that has lifesteal, and I, I forgot what it, what it does. Lifesteal and something else. So there you go, see? So now I can get the new, I can get the purple the purple gear now. The pr I'm sorry, the purple shard pieces, and now I can make five star gear. See that? Perfect. So yeah, we are on floor 60. Uh, tonight, in about, what, two hours and 15 minutes, um, we will hopefully be beating whatever boss comes up here um, and getting a void shard and being able to move forward because this is where I think I ended last time. I believe it was this is where, I think this is where I died, was at level 70. So I'm hoping that whatever it is is something that I can beat. We already got the griffin twice, so I can get purple gear for griffin. Um, we do have the spider and this dude, the eternal dragon, which I didn't really see what he does. I mean, he was kind of easy. Uh, I got to see what he does at higher level before, because that's how you really know. Like once you get to the second version of him, you usually start to get a better idea of what they're about. Like this guy was a lot harder um, the second time around at 185. He wasn't like ridiculously hard, but he was definitely hitting hard. And he was definitely trashing my team a little bit, and I got a little worried at first, but then it, he, he won. Uh, we won. So that was, he's 185. Why is this guy only 100? That's weird. Is it because he's, what, six star? Is this guy five star? <laughs> he's got to be six. No, he's six too. That's weird. Um, so yeah, we're definitely pushing really well in here. I'm very excited to get to here and see what we get. Um, we have, and I'd like to hopefully maybe get another room, a secret room I can beat. That would be good. I've been getting an average of about, what, 12 to 15 shards every cycle for the heroes. It sucks because it's like, what, once a month? Terrible. Terrible, terrible drop rate um, for these shards. It does take a very long time. So that's where we're at in Doom Tower. Isn't it fun? So yeah, really this, this video is mainly about, you know, how I build my heroes and what I do to do that. Like, like I, this is it. Like, this is what I'm going to probably do all day today. And even at reset, like I do all the dailies and stuff. I literally bang out all the dailies. I've kind of got it down to a to a science now. I already know which ones I need to do, and what I need to do to get them done. So we just go in here, take these guys out. We don't need all the vault heroes. All right. Um, right now, I actually just got him, so we're gonna level him up too because he's new. He sucks. He's a terrible hero, but I like I said, I love him anyway. I'm gonna keep him, and he's mine. So we're gonna do, and I try to do, like I said, one of each color and we have multi-battle so I don't even need to continue multi-battle even when they hit max level no take that off we don't want that all right you only use that when you're farming so when you're farming like dungeons but yeah see and that's it this is what I do I put this on auto and I go do something else or I'll watch it or I'll watch TV um, what is that it looks like he's holding is he holding a sword yeah I couldn't see it on the screen it was weird um, but yeah, this is it. I, I, I do this. I think I've done this exact thing. Probably what? This costs eight energy. And the first day of the event, I think I had 1100 energy um, because of all the extra free crap that I had gotten in the resets and stuff that all just happened at once. So yeah, I had like, yeah, like 11 or 1200, I think, energy. And so divide that by eight. And that's how many times I did this. <laughs> Which is kind of probably why most people don't level heroes to 60. They just don't want to sit here and do this, you know, 100, what, it's 800, 80 energy is, uh, is 10 runs, right? So 800 energy is, is 100 runs. So basically you would have to do about 100 to 150 runs off that energy. You know, somewhere in that range, I don't feel like doing math. Uh, it's a lot of runs. You know, it's a lot of runs to just sit through, especially when you only have 30 or 40 multi-battles. So you can pop it on and then just do some random fights. I was farming to try to get another spirit host for faction gardens, guardians. I just didn't do it. Uh, I did it for maybe a, a couple, like maybe an hour today and none dropped. And I just want to build my silver back up. So I stopped doing it for a little bit. I'm going to wait till after uh, this, this event's over because I want to try and get as much of the, the low end fruit 
off these tournaments that I can, like the gems and the, and the energy, because those are usually like the first few things that you can get off the events. Um, and I also need to get enough of these three-star heroes built up to get my last six star or to get grave kill get grave chill whatever her name is get her built up because that's important um i would really like to get her as soon as possible because i have a feeling that once i throw her in the team it's it's gonna be another uh, it's gonna be another frozen banshee it's gonna jump my damage up probably a million to two million damage minimum so we'll see how it goes um but other than that yeah that's really what i've been doing and this is how i build like max you max one hero at a time one hero it, it's this is that's the point of this video just max one hero hero at a time that's that level 60 with all masteries all level 16 gear all ascensions and even an awakening that one hero is worth 30 level 50s unless you get like some magical hero like you know like whatever um you know some hero that i don't have that i can't get <laughs> like if you have um what's this what's that that bobo's name the little uh dwarf guy that everyone loves geo like if yeah him at level 50 might be better than the 60 that i have but to be honest i usually kill him he's good he's not good for fighting people he's good for fighting um bosses and stuff but yeah like i don't care like level 60 level 60 level 60 level 60 it's the only thing that should matter once you get through that first week or two and you get your kale level 50 that's it it's the only thing that matters getting them all to 60. after before that you could do whatever you want. You could farm whatever gear you want. You can do whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. It's not going to change the fact that being level 60 and maxing everything out is it comes first. It just comes first. So I'm going to leave it here. This was a nice little video. Um, I'm going to try and do this at least a little bit shorter each day. I'm, I'm going to try to like pop on and just do like maybe I'll run my dungeons and stuff while I'm on, on stream. Uh, I could probably do tomorrow, maybe, I think. Should be an easy day, we'll see. Um, so I will probably maybe do a little bit tomorrow and then maybe a little bit on you know, Friday, we'll see. Uh, I will probably do at least one day, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so like I said, that's really what I've been doing is just leveling these heroes up nonstop and trying to get silver. Uh, I did level 11 pieces of gear up to 15 before the, on the, during the first artifact enhancement and then I did level and then I leveled all of those suckers up to 12 I'm sorry to 16 and I got 4,000 points within a minute basically so because I'm not going for the legendary so I, it didn't matter if I did if I missed the first one so that was the good news but now I have a bunch of level 16 gear on all on all those new 60s that I have so that's good so we move we move forward a lot so that's really what matters all right but, yep, that was it for today. I have it off. I'm going to be putting this up on YouTube literally right now uh, as soon as I stop. So that way you guys can watch it. It'll take about, I think it usually takes like five, ten minutes for it to upload. So we'll go from there. And then hopefully I'll do either tomorrow. It's good because what happens is I usually get home at like five. And then I have an hour before I have to start doing stuff with the dog and, you know, and life. So it works out well so I can kind of use this hour to just do this maybe and hopefully i can do it often and not be so sporadic with it um all right so that's going to be it for today and uh once again thank you for watching hopefully you've learned something and hopefully we'll be doing this a lot more now uh like i said i'm going to shoot for tomorrow for at least 30 minutes i want to try to do them a little bit shorter all right so thank you very much and have a great one